September 7th, Fountains of Blessings The water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. John 4 verse 14 The picture our Lord described here is not that of a simple stream of water, but an overflowing fountain. Continue to be filled. Ephesians 5 verse 18 And the sweetness of your vital relationship to Jesus will flow as generously out of you as it has been given to you. If you find that his life is not springing up as it should, you are to blame. Something is obstructing the flow. Was Jesus saying to stay focused on the source so that you may be blessed personally? No. You were to focus on the source so that out of you will flow rivers of living water, irrepressible life. John 7 verse 38. We are to be fountains through which Jesus can flow as rivers of living water, in blessing to everyone. Yet some of us are like the Dead Sea, always receiving but never giving, because our relationship is not right with the Lord. As surely as we receive blessings from Him, we will pour out blessings through us. But whenever the blessings are not being poured out in the same measure as they are being received, there is a defect in our relationship with Him. Is there anything between you and Jesus Christ? Is there anything hindering your faith in Him? If not, then Jesus says that out of you will flow rivers of living water. It is not a blessing that you pass on or an experience that you share with others, but a river that continually flows through you. Stay at the source, closely guarding your faith in Jesus Christ and your relationship to Him, and there will be a steady flow into the lives of others with no dryness or deadness whatsoever. Is it excessive to say that rivers will flow out of one individual believer? Do you look at yourself and say, but I don't see the rivers? Throughout the history of God's work, you will usually find that He has started with the obscure, the unknown, the ignored, but those who have been steadfastly true to Jesus.